So one of the differences I find using the Instant Pot versus cooking over the stove is that it requires less liquid. So I've reduced the amount of beef broth that I would normally use. I think in the recipe I ask for about two and a half cups. So I'm using one and a half cups here. And then I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients into the stock that I will put into the, the pot all together at once. So one tablespoon of brown sugar one tablespoon of rice wine. I'm gonna reduce this to three tablespoons of soy sauce. One tablespoon of sesame oil. And two tablespoons of corn syrup. Just gonna stir that up. I'm also going to put in six cloves of crushed garlic into the broth here. So my recipe for Galbi Jim uses leftover prime rib roast ribs. So I freeze them whenever we have prime rib. My recipe on the website calls for five ribs, but I have six today. Garlic presses are amazing because it just saves so much time. So I'm just going to put them in frozen. I'm hoping it will all fit in here. I don't know. I don't think so. You can take one or two. What? I think if I rearrange them, they will fit. All right, it's meat Tetris. Did you manage to fit everything in there? I did. I don't know if I can fit all my vegetables in there, but we'll see. Ta-da! So this one, definitely, I will use natural release to make sure that all the pressure is released from there. I'm going to just add my sauce right over top of everything. Okay, so I put the lid on. I'm just going to lock it into place. I have the, the ceiling valve on ceiling and I'm going to program it for meat. It automatically gives 35 minutes but I want it to cook for 55 minutes. Okay, and it should start on its own. I cut up a lot of garlic earlier and I don't know about you but I really dislike the smell of garlic on my hands and um, I had heard that if you use stainless steel to to rub your your hands on them it removes the smell so I picked up one of these stainless steel bars of soap well obviously it's not a bar of soap but it's a bar in the shape of a soap bar that um, it's called rub away and you can use it to wash your hands and to just rub it on your fingers and whatnot to take away um, the smell of garlic, the smell of onions, fish, anything that seems to stay on your hands when you're cooking. So this is great. I just thought I'd let you know that um, there's a way of getting rid of all that smell from all the cooking that you do. When we put it on, it actually took around so about half an hour for it to pressurize and then the um, cooking time started. And we had it cooking for 55 minutes and then I decided to release it naturally because it was so full I didn't want um, a lot of splutter to happen and if that happens it's possible to get the valve clogged and I didn't want to do that so I had it uh, naturally released but that took um, an hour so I don't know I think I actually saved much time making it in the Instant Pot but it's also I think because my ribs were frozen and uh, my pot was so full and that's why I think it took that much time to pressurize and then also to de depressurize it was because it was so full as well. Okay so I'm just gonna see how it turned out. It looks really tender and I am going to simmer down the sauce. So now I'm going to thicken the sauce by just um, 
boiling it down. And we'll just have it on saute mode. And I'm going to say more because just there. Two more because I'm impatient. And we just want to boil off some of the water. So what I have found um, has been great with the pressure cooker is that even with the root vegetables that I put in at the same time as the meat, the meat is fall off the bones, but the vegetables continue to hold its shape and they haven't turned into mush. So it's been simmering for the last eight minutes and I've reduced it by about half. Just gonna let that sit for a few minutes. Let the fat float to the top and you scoop some of that out. And then I'm just gonna pour it onto the rest of the dish. We removed most of the fat and now I'm just going to pour this over. I'm sorry I don't have any green onions to sprinkle on top today, but I'm sure it'll be just as tasty.